Product images make up about 95% of your overall success when it comes to Google Shopping Ads. So it kind of makes sense to make sure you do your product images right. But this is also where the biggest opportunity lies for e-commerce store owners like yourself who want to kind of stand out from your competitors. But before we get into the actual product image creation strategy, I want to go over a few misconceptions a lot of e-commerce store owners have related to product images, at least those misconceptions, which I personally have seen, which caused them not to make any significant changes to their product images and as a result barely scrape by when it comes to Google shopping ads or just Google ads in general. The first biggest misconception I've seen when talking with e-commerce store owners is the best product images are equal to those taken by this pro photographer that they pay thousands and thousands of dollars for that they find through this fancy event that they go through. That is one of the biggest misconceptions I've heard, but unfortunately, too many e-commerce store owners believe that the best product images, especially with Google Ads, are those that cost the most amount of money. The second big misconception a lot of e-commerce store owners have is the image sizing doesn't matter. And if you just kind of, even within your own niche, just go and type in one of the main keywords for your brand or for your product, you will notice a handful handful of e-commerce stores out there where they have rectangular images or the vertical images, all sorts of different image sizes, and they don't really pay attention to this because they think at the end of the day, Google is going to crop the image out. This is a big misconception and one of the leading ones for not getting results with Google Ads. The third big misconception I've seen often when talking to e-commerce store owners is copying your competitor works like a charm. I mean, if your competitor is running a certain image and they're kind of crushing it with Google Ads, then obviously you have to also crush it if you copy their image, right? Not exactly. This is a very big misconception. All it leads to is a bunch of copycats who copy each other and as a result drive the product down the drain instead of getting results from that product. So these three misconceptions I've seen surface up over and over again when speaking with e-commerce clients under my Google Ads agency, Your Marketing, as well as just my YouTube subscribers who I speak with on a regular basis. But in this video, I want to kind of cover over the actual strategy I take when it comes to making product images or quote, finding images for my products. And for the sake of this example, we're going to be using a sample product for the tutorial. So in this case, we're going to be using this sample product. As you can see, this is a very basic product. It's called a chainsaw mill. It's supposed to work with a chainsaw in some fashion. Now, this product is, has actually been a winning product for me in the past. So if you try to go sell this now, good luck, because if you just do a quick Google search for this product and one of the main keywords was chainsaw mill right here, saw mill, we can see exactly what has happened because of these copycats. There's a lot of similar other drop shippers selling that same exact product. So they have completely killed off this product, which is the unfortunate thing of what happens when you start to copy your competitors. But for the sake of this example, I want to show you how simple it is to actually go ahead and make a product like this, a best selling product for your e-commerce brand or just any product you might be selling. How do I choose my product images? So my kind of strategy actually begins on the search page itself. So the first thing I like to do is I like to do a quick search for the main keyword for that product to get an understanding of what my competitors are doing. What kind of images they have? Is it white background images or mostly lifestyle images like this one right here? And then understand if which way basically I want to go. So from a very broad general overview, I can see a lot of these competitors, at least the top ones, if I just search it again, these are consistently white background images. So that lets me know that maybe potentially using a white background image might really not be an ideal strategy for this product if I were to sell it. Because again, even though there's a few more lifestyle images popping up here, in the beginning, there's a lot of white background images. These are the ones getting more pushed towards the front. And we obviously want to do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. So my strategy, it would be basically involved around finding the product image itself on eBay or on Google, wherever you wanna go, make sure it's not copyrighted. Or if you have your own product images, that's even better if you're a real brand. But 
right we're gonna assume we don't have any, any images for this product so what i like to do is i'll just scroll through different listings on ebay or on google or even on amazon to see what is out there in terms of my product so just quick searching and if you can't really find anything quickly you can continue to search on different placements different platforms but it looks like we are starting to find a few images right here i'm gonna get back to you guys once i find a very good image so while searching through google images right here i came across a few decent images which are much different than what the competitors are doing right here so for example this image right here this seems to be by an actual brand this seems like it's doable and we can actually use it but you want to always be safe and sure that you're not just stealing an image from some other brand itself because it could potentially be copyrighted like it says right here but these are very good images right here to use if you have the capacity of actually taking an image with your phone or something similar these are the kinds of images you want to be taking but if you don't have the capacity to actually go ahead and take your own product images then a product image that you could be using for a product like this and this is just something i saw while scrolling through would be potentially something like this one right here even though it's by another brand if the brand is not too big or well known then that is an image you can potentially use or maybe even this one right here these are all ideal images you want to be using and actually while doing a bit more research i came across this image right here which i think is perfect for this criteria if we go on over to this website we can see it looks like it's some kind of shopping plus a little blog related website right here but if we scroll down we could potentially find that product in use now it doesn't have to be the same exact product you're selling in certain cases where it makes sense like for example here this looks very similar to what we want to sell right here so from a far away view that should not be an issue itself so like this one right here so once you figure out what image you want to use and again this is just a sample i'm by no means telling you to go on another blog post or blog page to look for product images in fact what you should be doing when doing research on google images is all at the very top you want to open up tools and from tools you want to open up usage rights right here because you want to make sure to choose the second option when doing research and of course this is going to change up what images come up here but regardless right here this is more than enough for our example so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save that image and now this brings us to the next step of our product selection and product creation guide so once i have selected my image i like to look at which kind of general direction or how the overall images that my competitors are using are laid out so a lot of these images i see like for example this one the sawmill here is pointed towards the left side but this one is pointed towards the right side and this one is pointed towards the left side believe it or not the direction where your product is pointing makes a big difference so i'm trying to look for more of these real lifestyle images to see which way they're pointing because again i'm gonna be using a lifestyle image it looks like this one is also to the left and this one doesn't have a direction really but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a general idea of how to lay out our product image can we just put the image we found directly on our product itself or do we need to do some modifications to it so in order to stand out from this number one competitor right here i personally want to do a little bit of a modification for this image right here and the easy way to do that is just go over to canva now i do have a canva pro account but you never necessarily have to use a pro account with canva you can also get away using a free option but what i want to do is i want to create a brand new image right here a brand new design and we're gonna put the design at a thousand by a thousand pixels so make sure it's not ten thousand but actually one thousand by one thousand px and then we're gonna go ahead and upload that image which we found now you can use canva you can use your own kind of system it really doesn't matter what matters is that you're finding a way to make your product itself different from everybody else's so the best way to do that is to upload that right here now as you can see the product we found it was not a square image and this is gonna cause some issues right here so what we will need to do is we will need to extend the image size itself and go above the actual image dimensions right there so just like that we had to kind of extend it and it doesn't really matter because as long as the product itself is in overview it's you can still see the whole product that's completely fine and we can almost not see it but you know it's good enough right here in this case now we wanted to do one more quick change right here so what we wanted to do is we wanted to actually go ahead and flip this image right here we're gonna flip it horizontally and boom there you go instantly if somebody were to even copy this image right here you would not directly be competing with them just because now your image is a looks at least a lot different 
from what it originally is. And if you kind of compare this image to what's getting shown right here amongst these, it's very clear that you are now gonna be able to stand out with this image because now your chain size is pointing towards the right side, whereas the number one chain size and also the other general ones, they were pointing more towards the left side. So very simple kind of differentiation factor, but it's gonna do the trick because of what we just discussed right here in terms of how the overall layout is for the other images versus what you did for your own product right here. And that's pretty much my general approach when it comes to the product images. I'm doing nothing crazy. Even for my clients, I'm not recommending them to invest in any type of professional photography. I mean, of course it's good if you do invest, don't get me wrong, but if you can get away with using your older images or other images by just flipping things around, making it stand out from your competitors, at least with shopping, that's more than enough of a good approach and a good strategy for Google Ads. But kind of my final thoughts, again, it does not matter what software you use. If you outsource this, I recommend if you're the CEO or the CMO to definitely outsource things like these because it's gonna take up a lot of your time. But I do want you to focus on standing out from the crowd, standing out from competitors, because that's the real way seven figure and eight figure brands are created. But again, if you're doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen. But I want you to watch this video right here on my Google Shopping ad strategy for 2023, the exact strategy I'm using to scale my brands and client brands to six, seven, eight figure levels.